You know, medicine's changed a lot because we live in a time where the paradigms are shifting. So if you look at 20th century medicine, what killed people in the 19, you know, 10s and 20s and 30s and 40s was infection. But now we get to the 21st century and they're not infectious diseases. They're all chronic metabolic diseases. Each generation was supposed to be healthier than the last one. Lifespan was supposed to be increasing. We were supposed to be in this paradise by now. You'll get the results on the relativity reactor. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Instead of getting healthier and healthier, it seems to have gone the opposite way. The Western diet is technically a lethal disease vector. So our body, our DNA, our epigenome, our microbiome, for millions of years, did ha had no experience consuming the types of foods we consume today. People who have access to doctors and hospitals aren't necessarily healthier because they have that access. You need to change your diet, you need to exercise, you need to lose weight. It doesn't always have to be your family practitioner that tells you this. And in fact, your doctor of optometry may have more insight into your risk. You know what the biggest oh wow about getting your eyes examined? is that people just don't realize that the eye is a biomarker for many diseases. There's over 170 systemic diseases that can manifest in the eye. Yeah, the perception is that optometrists have, they're a one-stop shop for lenses and glasses and that's it. And that's just not true. They often identified serious conditions, um, not only associated with the brain, but serious conditions in terms of the vasculature, like diabetes, like uh, coronary artery disease. The optometrists start to see disease way before I start to see disease. I am looking at disease on a macro level. I'm looking at the coronaries. I'm looking at the peripheral arteries. You know what they're looking at? They're looking at the smallest blood vessels in the body. So if there's disease here, there's going to be the beginnings of disease here. If you can find diabetes non-invasively early and adjust people's diet, increase exercise, and make them aware, th then maybe we can slow down the diabetes epidemic. It's really just a window into what the inner lining of all your arteries look like head to toe. So we'll see these eye changes in anyone who has vascular disease widespread, diabetics, they're usually gonna have these findings in their eyes. Completely non-invasively, you could screen thousands of people, not just for their eye health, but for their whole body health. If you can identify high-risk people, and then treat them correctly, well, that's where we're going to save lives. So that puts you at the very tip of preventative medicine. Hi, I'm Ashley. How does being in space for so long affect your body? I actually put this up against my eye and plug this into a computer, and then I can look into the back of my eyeball, and there are expert doctors on the ground who are looking at the, my eyeball while I'm doing it. And by looking at the eye in general, we're looking at components of the whole body, which may all tie into the astronaut's health, as well as give some idea of the health of their arteries. The paradigm is not, I, you have a disease, you come see me as a doctor, I give you a pill, you're better. The paradigm is, you have a problem, it's chronic, it's related to lifestyle and diet, so fix your lifestyle and diet. The biggest secret that's hidden in plain sight is that our body is constantly healing itself on a deep level, and a moment-to-moment -moment level. The optometrist, the eye doctor, is the first person to actually detect a systemic disease in patients that had no clue that they were at risk or were ill. And the optometrist, in my opinion, is one of the best kept secrets. OD is the new GP, right? Optometrist is the new general physician.